Welcome on the Catalonia Community Podcast. Uh, today we have as, uh, as guest Joshua Akpan, Cardano Ambassador, and uh, we have as host uh, Denisio Bernier and I, uh, Max. We are going to talk about uh, Cardano in general, um, the vision uh, Joshua has for Cardano, what he's working on uh, as a Cardano Ambassador, and how Cardano could change um, the lives of people in Africa and especially in Nigeria because, yes, Joshua is based in uh, Nigeria. Hi, Joshua. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, my name is Joshua Ackman and uh, I, uh, you know, I'm just a curious person <laughs> and uh, also into real estate. Like, as, the first, as the first question, I had an interview somewhere, something like a month ago, with a, a Nigerian journalist uh, called Rebecca Asse, and she told me that education is the number one thing IOHK, Emergo, and the Cardano Foundation have to work on in Africa to deliver adoption. Do you share that uh, feeling, or do you think there is something other, something else which? IOHK, uh, and Morgan and the Cardinal Foundation should uh, focus on. All right. So yeah, I, I was saying yes. I share the same. I share the same feeling. I share the same uh, with uh, the person you're talking about. Education is the key. You know, when they don't understand what this is, they can't use it. They can't adopt it. You know, so we need materials, educational materials, meet up. You know, you know, we, we need to educate their mind to understand what. Cardano is what blockchain is. We can introduce, you know, enterprise blockchain and all adopt these things into uh, various sectors of, of the country. Wow. The key, the point is, if they don't understand it, they cannot be adoption. They can't use it. Hmm. I like, I like that, that, that what you said, you know, because um, I, I fully agree. By the way, you know, education is the key. You know, um, if, if you want to, let's say, change, um, change people's lives and get people on board using the technology, then obviously people need to know what it is, first of all. And they, they need to know, hey, what they can do with it. And they need to know also what, how is that technology going to benefit us, you know, not only in general, but also me as an individual, right? Uh, but I think one of the... Right. One of the um, I'm just looking at, at, at the country that I that I that I came from. Um, that's in the Caribbean. The the, the one of the right. problems that the, the country have right that is with land registration and birth certificates. Right. So, um, it's just speaking about the land registration part. My family own a piece of land, right? Uh, it's, it's a couple of a couple of acres, and uh, it's very difficult for us to get the ownership. You know, of that land. We have the papers, we can prove it, but there's no one willing to listen to us, right? Um, so uh, we've, wow. we've, we've, we went into the, uh, to the cadastres, we went into the, to the, to the census office, we went all over the place, you know, my family, just to, 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 listen, to prove our case. I, I've written personally uh, Mills letters to the, to the minister and pleading our case, you know, putting in all of, all of the proofs, but no one wants to listen. The problem that we have right now, my family, is that there is a... Um, I'll try to see if I can summarize that. Just to, just to show you how serious the problem is, right? So um, my great-great-grandmother, um, her name was Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth Bernier. And uh, she was born... No, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Elizabeth Bernier. So the problem is now, at the same... At the same time, there was a lady who was, her name was Elizabeth, but she was born Elizabeth Richardson. She married someone with the same name, Bernay. So what happened is you have my great-great-grandmother, who's Elizabeth Richardson, right? She has lots of kids. And you have this other Elizabeth Richardson who married someone called Bernay. And who's not, by the way, not relative, but what the census office did was they merged both of them. So you have this lady's children, the Richardson lady, has all of these kids, and these some of these people are actually living on our on the property. You know, they <coughs> built built apartments, built houses, and now they're actually how do you say 
uh, renting them. So they're actually profiting off the land when in fact the actual owner wow. and her descendants have cannot claim anything. So that's just to show you how the birth registration is, is, is terrible and the land registration is a problem as well. So yes, education, yes. You know, so how can it benefit? How can such a system benefit the people in my home country? That's it. You know, I mean, come on, you know, better birth totally registration agree. and better land registration. And in terms of uh, totally corruption, agree. Totally um, agree. in terms of corruption, um, my brother-in-law and my sister went, uh, went uh, living something like three or five years in uh, Congo. And when they came back, they told me that when you had, uh, when you, when you, uh, Drove, drove your car on the streets and there was policemen, the tradition <laughs> or the kind of routine was to give that policeman some money because otherwise he would arrest you and for whatever reason, like he would find a reason to, to arrest you. you. You didn't do something wrong, he would arrest you just because you didn't gi 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 give him the money. So is there a similar situation uh, in uh, Nigeria? Uh, not, not, not especially with the police, but something, you know, for, with the government or something, something like that, um, where there is some some kind of corruption, which blockchain and which cryptocurrencies could uh, improve. Um, I mean, corruption. Sadly, it's a. Uh... It's a global thing. Corruption is everywhere. We can meet to that. But um, one sector I think um, blockchain could uh, have a colossal impact is um, in the election. Election uh, because yeah, uh, integrate. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 If we if we could if we could have uh, if we could adopt the blockchain technology. And uh, use that for our elections. That would be that would be awesome because one of the biggest problems we have in Africa and especially in my home country, Nigeria, elections because they, they rig elections a lot. And well, if everybody can see what is happening in real time in an immutable uh, system, then that's that's awesome. That would that would do so much good. That would do so much good because the last election there was so much rigging and. Uh, you know, it was it was really bad. It was sad because uh, we could do something about it. So what we have to do right now, like I said, is education. If we can educate these people and tell them, hey, look, we have the power to solve this thing. You know, introduce the blockchain technology, and you know, we we'll have uh, our our elections on the blockchain. Then, you know, that that would be awesome. So, in the terms of leadership, election, this can solve it. Yes, I, I like that part, actually, because um, if you think about it, right, right now, I think the majority of the, um, let's say, voting is being done still uh, manually. So let's say with, with, with pen and paper or pencil and paper, right? Uh, even here in the Netherlands, by the way. But um, if you would have such done on the blockchain, you know, you mentioned it's immutable. You know, so like it's my choice goes yeah. on the blockchain. There's no one who can actually change that. You know, there's no one who can uh, falsify that or whatever. And I think you're right. That can be definitely oh, a great right. improvement when it comes to, um, to, 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 to voting. Uh, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And um, in regards with um, your Cardano ambassador activity, if we could call it like that, um, what are you specifically specifically doing in Nigeria? Um, right now, I mean, because uh, we have a startup, this is my own, Amber Bros. It's a project, a uh, real estate company, and uh, we are uh, working on adopting. Sorry, sorry. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, it's better. It's better. <laughs> All right, so I, I was trying to say, first, when I saw the opportunities in this space, and I discovered Cardano, and uh, simultaneously, I worked with my my friends, 
It's called Lamba Bros. That's where I am right now in my office. It's a real estate startup. And uh, right now what we're doing, because we have this hub, an incubator basically where we have, uh, you know, so many. This is where we usually have our meet. We have our meetups when there are few people. And what we're doing is adopting uh, the uh, adopting the blockchain technology and uh, tokenizing real estate basically. And we want to do that with Cardano. So yeah, we we want to start doing something. You know, implementing real reuse, real life use of um, the blockchain tech. And, and not just how, how not just us. Uh, some other, uh, comp some other projects have, have sprung up from this, inspired by us. Also, we have Farm Chain View, you know, looking into the agricultural sector, and adopting uh, Cardano. So there's a whole lot going down here, but uh, it's a bit slow, but we are progressing. Uh, how how are you educating the the people in in Nigeria currently about about Cardano? Okay. About, Okay, um, I am holding meetups in them to blockchain technology, them what the first generation, third, second generation, ultimately Cardano, which is a third generation blockchain, and uh, introducing them to what it is. And I have some few uh, developers, and uh, we are currently exploring the Cardano blockchain, not deeply yet, because most of them don't know. The, uh, the language has scale and we're still hovering around the idea, but, you know, soon, like I said, we're moving slowly, but all mm. we need now is, you know, support, any kind of support to, you know, teach and also probably fund them because what we're looking at, uh, at uh, hackathon can can drive adoption about that. If we can have, have a hackathon kind of, you know, you know, uh, workshop or whatever, you know, to 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 get attention, you know, from these people. Well, you you also mentioned right that um your your company is not the only one. You also have like startups, you know that that that's also interested in um, um let's say agriculture, building right? Cardano, yeah, right. B building on Cardano. Do do you work together with them? Do you uh, how was a is there kind of a collaboration? How, how does that work? How, how should I view this? Okay. Um, we recently, they recently started. So we're in talks with them to walk with them, basically. So we have with them. We just in talks with them. Okay. That's nice. So as a, as a Cardano ambassador, one of the things that you do is um, you host meetups. And um, basically where you right. go go through the whole um how do you say yeah history of blockchain onto cardano right you know right. so like let's say generation yeah. one where you have bitcoin two we have ethereum and the smart contracts and then eventually yeah. you know where you ha have a, a a um a great improvement upon both of them in in cardano in the third generation blockchains right yeah so right. um how how were these meetups? How were they received by by the people who you uh, who came to the meetups? Oh, um, I started way back uh, last year. Not way back, just last year. I started last year. Uh, you know, had it was received like it was. They, they were excited about it because they have. We had people coming from different places to this region. We had uh, people from schools, universities, and you know they were really excited about it because it's new and it's exciting. So they received it very well, and they want to explore more. They want to do more. They want to, you know, uh, learn and understand better and apply to their, you know, various fields of study. Nice, nice. Um, do, do, do you? How many people? Let's say your your first meetup. How many people, approximately, were were present? My first, my first meetup, we had uh, over forty people, and the Cardano group on meetup on my meetup platform is one hundred and sixty people right now. Wow, nice. Yeah. That's that's a lot. <laughs> 
Serious. I mean, we had we had like a meetup in Amsterdam. I think it was in March, uh, 2019, and we didn't even have the half of that, man. <laughs> Serious, <laughs> you know. But wow. hey, that's that's really good. That's really good. So, were, were these like, let's say, mainly young people like yourselves, or yeah, 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 mostly eighty percent, mostly young people from young. What, yeah, what, so what? my dream, like I said, okay, my dream right now is to have, um, like I said, hackathon. This space needs to be uh, vibrant. There needs to be something going on. Do you get? They need to look forward to. That. I want to have a hackathon in my region. All the developers, uh, you know, around Nigeria to join in and. Uh, you know, build something. Yes, yes. And we have uh, we have uh, some developers who are who can teach, you know, uh, uh, and also help understanding Haskell because we have some developers interested in understanding Haskell, and you know, so we would uh, the next session was basically is to uh, have uh, let's say training. Uh, training session or something, so we can get them to understand and uh, you know, work with us. Well. Then we can have the hackathon. Okay, and in the, so your company, you are planning to tokenize real estates. How is that? Is, well, how is that going to work? So you're planning planning to take, for example, let's say an apartment, and you assign, for example, I don't know, um, thousand tokens to it, and th and that's if you hold one token, you own 0.1% of that apartment, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. All right. So um, are you doing this alone or are you doing this with others, like a partnership or so with others? <laughs> Meaning oh, your, your, your real estate business. I'm in partnership with others. Oh, I'm in partnership with others and uh, they are fully into blockchain tech and also they had to get the vision we are all together doing this and you can check on the website am i allowed to see the website <laughs> sure man if it's okay if it's okay with you we'll put it in the description as well <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you lambabros.com it's we haven't integrated the um the tokenization platform yet it's just a real estate site for now lambabros.com but we're working our next step is to integrate our tokenization i'll send it to you anyways <laughs> that's good that's good um uh guys uh i i got i got this i gotta go okay no problem. And, um, max thank you for for hosting um, and um, I, I just have a few minutes before I, I head back on. Uh, but uh... all right. Okay. Thank you very much, Joshua. It was really interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, like I said, it's it's an, it's an honor to be here. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much um, for listening to this uh, episode. Um, we will uh, meet back next week. And uh, thank you very much, Joshua, for your time and uh, for doing all these activities uh, for the Canada community uh, in Nigeria. Really. Thank you. Thank you.